Good afternoon. I, I knew it was going to be a good weekend when Miss Carolyn threw that first pitch out, <laughs> threw a first strike, and it, it set it set the tone for the whole weekend. She's the most prepared person the whole weekend. She said she went in the backyard, measured exactly how far she could throw it, and and nailed it. So that that was great. So uh, we we did we had a good weekend, and uh, thank you for thanks for everybody coming out because Friday was cold. And then we turned around on Saturday, and it was cold. And then yesterday, it was nice. So I appreciate y'all coming out. We had great crowds all three days, and especially on Friday when it was. It really got really cold, and I appreciate everybody coming out. So, uh, But on the on the first night, we had a good weekend. At, we talked baseball. It always starts with starting pitching. That's where everything starts. Uh, Caleb McClanahan, uh, senior, uh, he came out. He, he threw really well through uh, seven innings for us. Um, gave up, I think, one. Didn't give up on run. He gave up, so he he threw really well. And then on the back end of that, uh, we got to bring in a true freshman, Blake Clayton, left-hander. You guys will see a lot of. Doesn't throw hard, but he can put it where he wants. And then John Cordsmeyer from 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 Conway here that played at uh, St. Joe. He came in and finished it off. So and and John did a good job on that. So our front end pitching, McClanahan, our back end pitching was really good. Offensively on that day, uh, we did a lot of good things. Um, on the offensive thing, a lot, we ended up drawing a lot of walks, doing some things. Michael Marietta, uh, 4-0 hitter on the weekend, had four doubles, so played really well for us on that. So Friday was good, good way to start, good way to start. We played uh, extremely well on, on the opening night, and um, we only gave them, I think, a total of three bases. They ended up giving us about 15, and, and that's the key ingredient to, to winning ball games for sure. Uh, on Saturday, we start off on uh, with uh, – Jeffrey Enloe, left-handed pitcher, uh, he comes out, he throws uh, six innings, does really well, gives up one run, six strikeouts, only one walk, uh, cruising right along also offensively. Uh, hitting was good, offense was really good. And I always tell guys, hitting is just a part of offense. Uh, it's just a piece of it. Everyone wants to hit, but then there's other parts, drawn walks, hit by pitches, base running, different things like that. So. Then on Saturday, it was good. Kids came out, our camp kids that, that, that we have camp, they came out, did national anthem. That's always fun to see, to see everybody come out for that. And um, then on, on also on when we're talking about pitching, Jeffrey did a great job. Griffin Glaude from BB came in, threw, uh, got an inning in, did real well. Taylor Wallace, true freshman from Little Rock Catholic, came in, threw an inning. And then um, uh, Connor McLean from uh, Conway. Uh, Connor, you guys remember Con uh, Connor? Uh, he helped Conway win a state title. He was the pitcher that beat Brian out here on our field. So he came in, shut the door on, did really well. And we're excited about him. Connor throws 90, 91 miles per hour, 80, 81 mile hour slider, doing tremendous for us. And, and we're excited about that. We're excited about these guys from Conway doing a good job for us. Uh, another guy from Conway, Tyler Langley, got his first college. His first college at bat was his first college hit. Okay, Had a great at bat. Uh, second about he had a 3-2 count, worked it real well, line drive right field, sacrifice fly. And then his third at bat was yesterday, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Didn't work out as far as a hit, but it was still a, uh, a great at bat. Uh, game three on Sunday, we started with Bryce Biggerstaff. Uh, Bryce is from Sherwood, played at um, uh, CAC. Comes out, does really well. Through, here's the thing with that, he didn't have his best, he started out real well. They got a lot of hits off of him. Uh, Sunday's game, Friday's game, Saturday's game, easy. It's just one of those things that just worked out. It's a blessing when you get a game like, uh, you know, those games. Um, Sunday's games is typically a typical game, especially now with the new bats in college baseball. You get these closer games, and everything matters. Everything counts on those. Uh, but on Sunday, uh, Bryce comes out through well. Um, he gave up some hits, but he didn't give up walks. That's what gets you beat. A walk, walk, then a hit. But he, he was getting up some hits. He threw okay, not too bad. Uh, but really on, on that, what got us on, we ended up going 12 innings. And it started out just like Friday, just like Saturday. Forced all day, leads off with a base hit. Then Blake Marshall hits into, I mean, hits a line drive double play. And then we had a couple double plays. And I, the, I always know this, if, um, they were well hit balls. Nick Ruggio hit into a double play, but the problem was they hit him too hard. Uh, they hit him so hard that, that didn't have time to get down the line and, and beat it out because both those guys can really run. And uh, so what happened on that is we was having to overcome those double plays. And even though it looked like the perception was it looks like it's going to be the same as it was on Friday and the same it was on Saturday, things were going our way. They turned a couple double plays, then we kind of hit a lull. 
had some bad at bats in there, and then they they were they came out ready to. Uh, they're in ten on Sunday. Murray State was a lot better. They came out and they just had the lead on us and and outplayed us basically most of the game. And then we get into the uh, we're down three in the ninth. We draw a walk. Garrett Brown comes in pinch hit, draws a walk. Uh, we get uh, and then of course Forrest all we get bases luck and we we had the right person up at the right time uh, as far as that. Uh, we get bases loaded, nobody out, and of course they call timeout and Forrest comes down and goes. Don't give me take, coach. <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, he was excited. So we had the right guy in. He doubles off the uh, left center field wall, score a couple, and then we we had a chance to win it right there. And they made a couple of really big plays. We had a chance to win it right there, and we didn't. So we ended up going extra innings, and then we ended up uh, finally in the 12th. Marietta hits a double, move him over, and then we win on a pass ball. But uh, going back on that game, it was an exciting game. You guys were out there. Temperature was a lot better. That game right there, Craig Kelly did a tremendous job for. That's Coach Kelly's son. He play, started out at third during the game, made a couple of great plays at third. Then, of course, we're about to run out of players by the end of the game. And so he ends up at short. He makes a diving play, dives, catches it, gets up and throws them out, or they would have took the lead. So he saved a run right there. Blake Marshall at second makes a diving play, gets up, kicks off of him, scrambles, throws the guy out, keeps him from scoring another run. So we're defense, and I told on, on last week, our core to our team is our defense. And those guys play hard, and they get after it. The first play of the weekend, Jonathan Davis, center fielder, lays out, uh, makes a diving catch, and sets the tone right there. Okay, So uh, the defense did really well. Getting back on Tyler Langley, I brought him into pinch hit. Here's a true freshman. First two at-bats have been great. Game's on the line, what's he do? He just gets up there and takes a great hack, hits a line drive. Of course, he hits into a double play. <laughs> so, but it was a line drive. I thought the game was over when the ball was hit. Of course, third baseman makes a play and then ends up doubles and off. So, but other guys have played really well. Justin Treese, uh, he's also, uh, he's from Sherwood. He played at um, uh, Sylvan Hills, played tremendous on defense. Jonathan Davis, he had a good weekend. That's how good uh, Jonathan Davis can be. He had a good weekend or just an okay weekend for his standards. But even when he's not hitting, he's still on bases. He's making defensive plays. Jonathan Davis can, can beat people six ways to Sunday. In every day. So even when he's not hitting well, he's getting on base. He'll get, he'll get hit. He'll take his walks. He'll, he'll keep the other team from scoring on defense. And he gets on first. He can steal some bases. And we did a good job on that this weekend. Uh, uh, Coach Black works with the base runners and doing that. We stole 12 out of 14 bases. And uh, so we did a really good job on that. So we played aggressive. I felt like we played smart. Um, and then uh, we just got, we got sometimes got the right break at the right time in game three and just capped off. A, it ended up being a, just a tremendous weekend. Like I said, it all started Miss Ed's and so her, first, her first pitch started the whole tone. So Are you anyway. Huh? No. We, may, we may need to come back out there. So the uh, this week, getting on this week is we have Vanderbilt, which is ranked. They are still ranked third. They're ranked third in the nation. Uh, so we're going to come at them with uh, probably throw about six or seven different guys at them. Same thing. Key on that is just like I was telling you, um, I felt like we were the better team this weekend. And uh, what can get you beat though is when the other teams turn in double plays. We go to Vanderbilt. There's no, there's no question about that. Talent to talent, they got some of the best talent. They have first round guys that turn down first round draft money to play for them uh, on their team. But if we'll play, we'll throw, we we'll pitch to our defense, and we can turn two or three double plays. And we get the right guy up at the right time late in the game. We're going to be okay, and uh, we're excited about going over there and playing them. And uh, but this, they're ranked number third in the nation. They'll have tremendous talent, but we have some pretty good talent also. And more importantly, we've got a group of guys that, that are playing well as a team, so we're excited about that. And then next weekend, Jackson State comes in, and uh, they had a uh, they had a good week, and they had a, a young man Friday night struck out 15. So uh, scouts told me he runs it up there in the 90s pretty good, so it'll be be a good weekend. They've got a really good ball club, so we're facing the number third team in the nation on Wednesday, and then a really good club coming in with a some great arms, not just uh, their Friday night guy. they got two or three other guys that have some tremendous arms. So it'll uh, be a good challenge, but we're excited about that, seeing that kind of talent level. And uh, hopefully uh, the weather next weekend will be a little warmer because it was this cold on Friday and Saturday. 
Uh, with that being said, does anybody have any questions about this past weekend or what's coming or anything like that? No questions. All right. Well, good. Well, hey, thank you once again for coming out because I uh, really appreciate our players do. And, and like I said, it was a good weekend. Thank you all very much.